Hello again for this new episode about FreeCAD CAM. Today I will show you how I usually flatten wooden pieces on my CNC in a very quick way using FreeCAD. I'll generate the path using FreeCAD. Here is a simple body that I created using parameters. If you want to see exactly how I did this, you can see in the corner the link to the video about creating a parametric, a basic parametric design. Now we are going to go to the path workbench to create a job so I can generate the code for flattening this in no time using a simple spreadsheet by just changing some values in this spreadsheet so I select my body click on the new job button I'll just remove this millimeter from all the sides it makes everything much easier go to tools add a tool and I'll add a tool it really doesn't matter which tool I'll explain you later why just give it some speeds also the speed doesn't matter, the spindle speed also doesn't matter and remove the default tool. Now I can close the job, go to the model, select the face and make a facing operation. I'll use the offset, go to boundary shape, select face region and now I can see that there is a milling face operation. It's very complex and has a lot of lines. I really don't care about this so I'll just click OK. So this piece for now is 300 millimeters wide with 800 millimeters long. Let's say I'm measuring the board that I want to flatten and it's 600 millimeters long with 200 millimeters wide. I'll just go to the spreadsheet, enter the new width, press enter, enter the new length, press enter. And now if I go back to my design you can see that it updated accordingly. Well, I want to do this for the cutter head, for the diameter of the cutter head, for the start and the end depth, because I can actually measure the highest point of the board and the lowest point. I want to be able to just tell FreeCAD, generate me a path that goes from 55 millimeters to 45 millimeters, because that's the highest point and 45 is the lowest point. Do it in steps of, I don't know, depends on the type of wood, so that's a parameter that I also want to use. So how do I do that? Well, actually, let's go to the first parameter, the step down parameter. I'll go to the spreadsheet. I'll just type here step down so I can easily identify which one is it. And let's say I want a step down of one millimeters. I go back to the cell containing the one value and go to the alias in the upper right corner and name it step underscore down. I cannot use spaces. These are variable names. So the standard variable names apply for this press enter twice and now I can see the field it's highlighted in yellow so now I have a variable that it's called step down and it will give me the step down for this operation why do I need a step down because if I go to the mill face go to depth I can see I have a start depth a final depth and the step down of course if I enter a smaller step down there will be more layers well how can I change this step down instead of six millimeters to use whatever I enter in the spreadsheet I just click on this expression button and instead of op tool diameter which is operation tool diameter i just delete this start typing spreadsheet it's the name of the spreadsheet where i enter the values and i try to remember i called it step down i select it from the drop down list to make sure i don't make any typo you can see here the result it's 1.00 i click ok click on apply and then click on OK. Of course nothing happens here because my mill face has a starting depth of 51 and the final depth of 50. So I want to be able to change these values too. I was giving you an example about starting at 55 and going down to 45. So I'll just write here start and and give the corresponding values 55 and 45. Also, I have to give them aliases. Let's say start underscore depth. And of course, end underscore depth. Now I can go to the expressions and click on the corresponding button. Just type spreadsheet selected from the drop down so I won't make any typo. And start typing start. Select the start depth from here. And for the final depth, spreadsheet again and depth I believe I called it and now select the 3d view and click on apply you can see it created all these layers because I have a step down of one millimeter let's say if I'm using a softwood which doesn't splinter like linden so I'll go back to my spreadsheet and I want a step down of three millimeters just change it go back to the 3d view and now I have 
much less layers with three millimeter spacing between them and another thing that i want to change i actually don't like the offset because it goes perpendicular at each corner and depending on the grain direction i just want the cutter to cut along the grain because it leaves a much smoother face so i have to go to pattern and select line you can see now i have lines but they are at 45 degrees to the x and the y axis i can change the angle from here i can simply write zero degrees and if i click apply you can see they are along the x axis and at 90 degrees they are going to be along the y axis but here is just a checkbox i don't have an enter expression button pressing the equal key also doesn't do anything so for now i'll just close my operation make sure it is selected scroll in the data tab until I reach the zigzag angle value. If I select it, you can actually see that I have the button for expression, but first let's go to the spreadsheet again, right here, direction, and I'll just write below it 90 degrees along Y, zero degrees along X, and just type zero DEG, which will translate to the degrees sign and will be a degrees value. Don't type just zero because if you're just going to type a simple value, a number, it will issue some problems with the actual value here. What I still need to do is give a name for this variable. So I'll call it direction. And now I can go to the zigzag angle value in the data tab of my mill face, click on the expression or just press enter. And here I can make a reference to the value in the spreadsheet direction. And now you can see zero degrees is along X. Let's change the value to 90. And you can see it updated and it goes along the Y axis for now. When I created the job, I selected a 6mm end mill. I want to be able to also change that value from the spreadsheet. So I'll just create a new value, it's tool diameter. And let's say I have a very big, nice flattening bit, a 45mm diameter tool bit. I'll also give it an alias, tool diameter. All I have to change is the diameter of the tool. I can go to the tools group go to the tool controller and go to the actual tool bit you can see i have a diameter value actually it's not editable from here i have to double click on it and here at the diameter value i just click on the expression make a reference to the tool diameter and as you can see the path changed accordingly it uses a much wider tool diameter it's going to be much faster and i can actually change all these values just from modifying this spreadsheet you might ask why do i want them all in this place when i can just click on some values here well it's pretty easy to forget changing let's say the tool diameter the step down and so on so having all of them in just one place makes everything much easier to remember and most probably i won't forget anything each time i have to flatten a board but changing the tool actually requires changing the speeds too the horizontal speed the vertical speed the spindle speed and this time i won't go to the tool bit itself but to the tool controller because this is the one that controls the horizontal speed the vertical speed and the spindle speed of course first i go to the spreadsheet just right here horizontal speed vertical speed and spindle speed i'll just type the values first now i have to give them aliases so now i'll just have to go to the tool controller go to the horizontal feed speed click on the formula editor and just write spreadsheet horizontal speed well it's actually not that easy it's also not difficult but you'll have to remember something because if i just press enter and now press tab to update the field you can see it actually calculated 90,000 millimeters per minute it's 60 times faster than my cnc can handle i don't know why but when actually entering a formula it will assume it's in millimeters per second not in millimeters per minute so i'll go to edit the formula and just divide it by 60 it will show me a result of 25 which is way too slow but when i click ok you can see that it actually calculated the right horizontal speed the feed speed for the vertical is the same needs to be written the same divided by 60 press enter and now hit tab give it a try change the horizontal speed and now you can see it updated accordingly here if i double click on the job 
go to the tool to make sure you see here is 2000 now i just have to change the spindle speed type in spreadsheet type in spindle speed and you can see here it actually doesn't give me weird values so now my whole job is fully parametric except one thing my corners won't be actually cut so what i want to do is go to the mill face operation again and change the material allowance i want it to be half of the diameter of the tool so it reaches every corner as it should but again here i cannot edit this value so i press cancel go to the mill face make sure it's selected scroll down until i find that value actually here it is called extra offset not material allowance so i'll just click on this button to edit the expression i'll use spreadsheet tool diameter divided by two of course and now you can see my job actually goes all the way around the material removing everything including the corners here it's not pretty obvious how the cutter head will move because you can see it intersects with the body and this can result to some dangerous situations so what i like to do i go to the body go to the pad and change its length property and instead of spreadsheet height i will just type spreadsheet and depth this means the body will always be just as high as the cutter head will move so i can now see all the movements of the cutter head but if i take a closer look i can see i only have three layers the cutter head was supposed to mill 10 millimeters using a step down of three so why do i have just three layers there's still one thing that i need to change and i will write it here because it also varies according to how i set up the cnc and how i hold the piece to the table so it's clearance offset which i'll use both on clearance and safe height type of value here let's say 30 millimeters let's go to the job in the setup sheet double click on it and go down to the clearances i have clearance and safe i'll just click on the formula editor i'll use the spreadsheet start depth because that's the highest point of my piece plus the spreadsheet clearance offset click on ok go to the safe height and paste it here too and now if i click ok you can see that i have my four layers just as i should and here is my spreadsheet the one that i use to mill any type of board with any size thank you for watching next time i will show you how i square edges using a spreadsheet a simple body and some values that i enter in the spreadsheet and that's kind of all that i need to do to mill the edges too